Hey, what's up everybody? Derek here from Hooked on Fishing for Real. I hope you all are having a great day and I hope you're out there getting some good fishing in now that we have nicer weather and brighter days ahead. So you know right now out at the North and South Skyway Pier, the mackerel is starting to run. And right now would be the perfect time to start catching them. That water temperature is on the rise and those mackerel are starting to move in and forge on those schools of bait fish that are running pretty thick. So in this episode, I'm going to go over all the materials you will need to complete a basic mackerel setup rig so that you can start catching plenty of mackerel out at the Skyway Pier. Now, how does that sound? <laughs> all right, all right. But before we get started, I'd like to say for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome and thanks for stopping by. I hope you find value in this channel in helping you improve your fishing knowledge. Make sure you click on that subscribe button below. Be sure to click that bell and make sure your notifications are turned on so that you'll be automatically notified when I post new video content. And as always, if you liked this video and found it very helpful or entertaining, much love is appreciated if you hit that like button. All right, so let's go over the materials you would need to complete this basic macro setup rig. Okay, so you need a size O or size one spoon of your choice. Now I prefer the Clark Spoon, they've been around for decades and they just work. I've used them before and I've had plenty of luck with them, but you don't have to necessarily get the Clark Spoon, you can get other brands and they work just as well. As a matter of fact, in the past I've used uh, Johnson's and I've used uh, the uh, Crocodiles and I've had a lot of luck with all of those, but I just prefer the Clark Spoon now. And number two, you're gonna need some fluorocarbon leader. Uh, Typically, you're going to need 40 pounds, but this is 30, and 30 will get, get the job done. Uh, you'll have less break-offs with 30 versus a 20 pound. Uh, as far as length, guys, you're going to need anywhere between 6 to 10 feet length of fluorocarbon leader. That should get the job done. And last here, we're, you're going to need anywhere between a 1 or 2 ounce uh, ball bearing inline trolling sinker with the snap swivel on it, okay? Now, in some of these bait shops, they sell them with the snap swivel on here, but some you'll find without the snap swivel, and you'll just have to buy a package of ball bearing snap swivel and attach it to it, all right? And then you'll need your main, of course, your main fishing line here. It's what you're gonna tie your fluorocarbon leader to. Now, I've already then cut uh, six feet of fluorocarbon leader here, so uh, I'm gonna move this out the way and then we're going to start uh, setting up this rig. Now, what you're going to do first is you're going to take one end of your fluorocarbon leader and you're going to tie a simple overhand knot. Now, you're not going to cinch it all the way down. You're just going to tie a simple overhand knot here. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be tying a non-slip loop knot. Okay, and what that's going to do is that's going to allow this lure here to work its magic in the water column. It's going to really allow it to move freely like this and really get the attention of those mackerel. All right, so once you got your overhand uh, knot in there like that, you're gonna take the tag in and you're gonna put it through the eye of the uh, hook here of the lure. And then you're gonna take that tag in, all right? And then you're gonna bring it, bring it, and you're gonna put it right through the center of that uh, overhand knot that you tied. So it looks like that. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it looks like that. Can you guys see that? All right. Okay. And so now you're going to take your index finger and your thumb, and you're going to pinch that, that overhand knot that you tied so it stays in place like that so it doesn't move. All right. And now you're going to take your tag in, and you're going to wrap it around your standing part of your fluorocarbon leader here. You're going to wrap it around three times. One, two, three okay now after you wrapped it around three times you're going to bring it back through this uh overhand knot uh hole here that's that we created you're going to bring it right through the center here all right and you're going to grab it and then you're going to pull it tight you're going to wet it like this and then you're just going to pull it tight and this is what it looked like just like this See that? Can you guys see that? And then you're gonna cut, you're gonna cut that tag in off, the rest of that tag in off here. But this is what it looked like. See, now this is a non-slip loop knot here. It's not gonna come undone, okay? You can pull it tight as you can, and it's not gonna come undone, all right. Now, we're gonna cut that right there like that. Now that part is done, look at that, that's done. 
Okay, look at that, that's done. Okay, now on our other end, what we're gonna do is we are going to attach this other end to the snap swivel here, okay? All right, so I like to tie on a uni knot, but you guys can uh, tie on whichever knot you prefer. I'm gonna tie on a uni knot here. So I'm just gonna do like this. I'm gonna bring that uh, tag in over the standing part and I'm gonna pinch it with between my thumb and my index finger. And I'm gonna come up through like this and do like maybe, mm, we'll do like three or four wraps up and over. That's two, three, I'll do one more, and four. There we go, all right. Now, I'll wet that, and now we're just gonna pull that like this, and there we go. Okay, so now we got our, we got our uni knot tied to our snap swivel here. We're gonna cut off the tag in, like so. All right, and then what we're gonna do next is, well, let me put this on here. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our main line here. We're gonna take our main line, okay? And we're gonna tie a uni knot or whichever knot you prefer. Um, some people use a uh, improved clinch knot, you know, uh, whichever you prefer, but I, I like using the uni knots. So, um, same thing here. Double it over it like that. And then we'll do one, two. I, I normally do more wraps than this, but for this video, I'm only gonna do like four wraps. And four. I usually do about eight wraps, okay? There we go. Now, we're gonna pull that down, and there we go. We have that on there like that. We're gonna cut off the tag in here. There we go. Okay, so now guys, this rig is complete. Look, I have my main line attached to the uh, inline ball bearing uh, trolling sinker here. Uh, the fluorocarbon leader is attached to the snap swivel, okay? And then we have on the very end of that, we have our Clark spoon tied with a uh, loop knot, non-slip loop knot, okay? Well, I hope this video was very helpful and valuable to you. If you guys learned something, feel free to drop me a comment below or hit that like button. That's all I have for now. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking on that subscribe button and hit that bell to be notified. Thanks for watching, have a great week, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.